good day this is Ray today is Saturday February 27th 2021 and for me another day of social distancing hope that you your family friends and loved ones are doing well staying home staying safe uh, once again I apologize for not putting up the backdrop this morning but um and quite a bit of pain uh, this past week I did go into work uh, every day and um, I want to say the last time I went in it was mid mid January so it's been a been a minute and um, right now going into work is voluntary we don't have to go into work but you know I want to do it to prove to myself that I can and plus you know it's just good to be in a rotation to be able to help out in this way um, I was having a talk with my boss uh, yesterday about it and was trying to think of the reasons why I am going to the office and um, and it hit me actually I think one of the bigger reasons that I am going in is uh, because last year when I had a seizure it was at work and then I was only back for those two days and um, I went on lockdown after you know coming back from a short medical leave and I'm doing it to to prove that everything's okay, you know. That when I go in there, that I'm not going to have another seizure. And um, as traumatizing as it was, and still is for me to walk through those doors and not think that something like that could happen again. You know, I've taken every extra precaution to be able to um, to do this, and um, you know, something that I thought of beforehand and um because I've, I've been off for the past couple of weeks kind of got out of habit uh was to send a text to my boss at the end of the day when i'm leaving to you know show that everything's fine and i didn't black black out so that's a, a check for me and um so you know just kind of a recap in the week I uh, went into work Monday, Tuesday was relatively symptom free I uh, started to notice that by the end of Tuesday <clears throat> um, after work was in some pain um, that carried over into Wednesday was in some pretty significant pain throughout Wednesday but it you know, was something I've experienced before so I didn't didn't want to um, call in or anything for the next day. Went into work on Thursday. Noticed that I had some swelling in my eye. Uh, Wednesday afternoon into Thursday, actually. And then um, f uh, Thursday, noticed that I started having some lip swelling. And um, that lasted until about Friday morning up until the early afternoon. And um, that started going down. So... Uh, when I was talking to one of my coworkers, you know, he brought up the point that when I do have these symptoms, they don't last, you know, a long time, and that's true, um, at least like when it comes to the swelling. So, you know, I, I really don't know the the pattern for. It. Like I noticed that I have some swelling, maybe in my around my eyes and eyelids, and then um, I have it around my lips, and it could be 24 hours, less than 24 hours, but the joint pain can last throughout the week and uh, I want to say Friday it was pretty bad but then uh, towards the end of the day I started to notice some improvement and throughout the night um, as I lay down I felt a little better but then I woke up this morning and was in that pain so yeah that's that um, so again you know I had swelling pain uh, fatigue for sure all right, that's enough of that. Um, if yeah, if, so if you don't know this, um, if you have student loans, they're in forbearance. They've been in forbearance for a while. I forget when that started. It was around the time that the pandemic started, so maybe April of last year, and they are extended until the end of September of this year. I have been making payments um, regardless, and uh, my company does make a payment, monthly payment towards it. So that has helped, but I'm still, you know, thousands, thousands of dollars in student loan debt. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm making payments on it, and I came up with a plan to be able to pay off, um, you know, the smallest loans 
first, which I have been doing. And uh, I think I'm getting to the point where I'm probably going to consolidate the loans. I'm trying to figure out when the best time to do that. Um, I have a couple of options. So, and then once I do that, it will be a lower monthly payment. Um, but you know, I'm going to throw as much money as I can to it to be able to pay it down in a faster period of time. Um, as well as that, um, yeah, paying off that loan that I took out to be able to move cross country last minute and, you know, pay off some medical expenses. And, um, so I'm definitely, you know, in a better position now than I was and grateful for that. And actually, um, credit, credit is the best it's ever been. So that's definitely a bonus. Um, I hadn't had a doctor's appointment yet and it's almost March. Um, I did get in touch with my primary care physician and my rheumatologist and they want me to make an appointment. I'm going to make an appointment with my primary care physician first and uh, definitely listen close to this. When you do that, you know, if you have multiple doctors, definitely coordinate with them. And, um, you know, because I have to have labs done, I'm going to find out what other test my rheumatologist wants to have and, you know, to to make to make the request for those labs. So my primary care physician is going to want uh, different labs than what my rheumatologist wants. And so if they can coordinate and have those same labs ordered at that time, get those done, it, it can all be in the database. And fortunately, I am with the same um, hospital, facility, um, the, the same clinics. So my records would be in one place and they could just look that up and coordinate that way. So if there has to be any adjustments to my medications made, that can be made at that time, and you know I can have discussions with my PCP, my primary care physician, and my rheumatologist, and it'll save um, trips. It'll save a little bit of money because um, I'm hopefully hopefully this year. You know, if I make my deductible, that's okay. Um, but I hopefully it won't make my out of pocket maximum because the past few years I have done that and that's been very expensive. And um, you know I just want to try to get in a position where I have my emergency savings up, um, as well as I have um, you know um, you know just an, enough money to be able to start planning on my next move. All right, so. Um, what am I doing next? I'm studying. I'm studying for my next exam. Um, if you haven't watched my previous videos, I'm working on getting designations as well as earning some credentials. And so what my study plan is and is what's been working for me is um, I'm taking one course at a time. So with this course, it's 14 chapters. I printed off the table of contents. I know it's coming. Um, this is a, a business class so i know what's coming ahead you know i got 14 chapters i print those off i make it a checklist and um, my goal is to study a chapter a day if possible you know some of these chapters might be a little difficult to read so i may have to make it two days so study that chapter i do the module quizzes i might do those a couple of times and then move on to the next chapter continue to do that and then at the end of the book I'll redo those module quizzes and then do uh, the uh, practice exam I'll do that maybe for a week and then at the end of that week I'll do the final exam and this particular course that I'm taking I can take the final exam twice and for hope I could just I just take it once and be done and then at at the end of this month, hopefully I have a week where I don't have to, you know, focus on it. I'll do some light reading. And my light reading right now is uh, reading about blood work and how to interpret those results. I have a book. It's called It's Your Blood that talks about all the different uh, blood tests that you have and how to decipher those tests, which is a good book. So the last week, I'll just read that. And um, when it comes to reading... You know, I, I definitely want to make time to continue to do light reading. Like right now, I'm also planning on reading about mortgages and uh, buying a home for the first time and uh, personal finance. And that's what I consider to be light reading because, you know, my five-year goal is to um, be able to uh, buy my first home or even to buy my parents' home so that they're able to um retire comfortably you know use that money to be able to um 
to you know plan for their retirement years so um, you know it's a lot to think about a lot of conversations that need to be had a lot of things I need to better understand when it comes to that but you know I'm definitely um, on the right track and doing those things and um, you know making significant headway into um, being in a better financial position than I currently am Alright, so this is not as a fun video as it was last week. I know last week was a little bit different. I gave you a background into my music history. Um, and life isn't always about being humor, uh, humorous. Is that the word? Being funny. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm trying to pick big words. So, if you made it this far, thank you. Uh, feel free to like comment subscribe hit the bell for notifications uh, feel free to share this with your friends and family and um that's all i got thank you and i will see you in the next video take care